cheat? Why is it so smooth? What's going on? Why my voice said what? It's not hot. It's the 17th of February and we're almost at the border with Spain. We left behind Fort St Elm and we're looking for a place to have some breakfast. This car park with the huge wine barrel looks just right. I slept all night on a big white ship. Seagulls were dancing all around. I woke up with a sunrise on the sea. This morning, it's crepes with butter and Nutella done in the Ridge Monkey. This couple have obviously stayed here before because this little track was completely out of sight from the road. where we were yesterday and that's where we spent the night at Fort St Elm and this morning we've driven down this coast road we're currently here and here's the border with Spain time to move on uh, we've no idea where we're going to be staying this evening hmm this looks like an abandoned border crossing let's see if we can stop and take a look this hasn't been used since Spain joined the European Union in 1986. There are actually two police cars parked in between the kiosks, but I doubt any officers are actually here. Once upon a time you would have had your documents inspected here, but now the vandals have moved in. We've noticed a lot of graffiti in Spain. Some people think it's art, but these are just tags and they look a mess. We're nearing the real border crossing with Spain now and I'm betting it will be just a sign. We're now in Spain, España. We invite you here Would you draw near Would you make a home We make room for you Would you come and move Would you pour out Your spirit on us Our eyes are set on your love Your ways are higher than our own No questions asked and we say
the park up we're going to is down this lane and we just found out that it's on an unmade road so I hope the van can cope with that. The track was quite bad in places but the van made it through without any damage so that's good. We are right next to these World War II German gun emplacements. I wonder if they ever saw action. There's another one over here. Is there a nice view? Yeah, very pretty. So it's four o'clock and we finally got our lunch. That was a bit of a pain coming through that town, wasn't it? Mm. Unlike France, they've got horrible little speed bumps and loads of them. Right, let's go and have a look at this German bunker, shall we? Some sort of slip trench here where they used to go inside. This seems much rougher than the other bunkers I've been in. Maybe it was not finished in time. I would imagine these dead ends would have held the ammunition. And that's it. What's it going to be tonight, Chef? Spanish omelette. That's good. How are you doing that then? Alright, we have potatoes, yeah. onions, yeah. ham, yeah. and tomato. And, and obviously eggs. Yeah, and it's the first appearance for our frying pan. I don't think we've used this in the, in the camper van yet, have we? We have not. So this is what a Spanish egg container looks like. Oh, they didn't give a top to it. Oh, well, you never told me they gave a top. <laughs> so what do you want me to change the date to? 2nd of How's that new knife? This new knife is brilliant. Mm. Like a mini tornado, that. Is it ready? I think so. Okay, let's get it dished up. Spanish omelette and French bread. Delicious. Well, that was top-notch, Charlie. I really enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. 
omelettes are tasty things, aren't they? Okay, this is how we test how much water we've got left in our little container. Take a torch and hold it up to the top of the container above the water level and you can see we got about half a tank left. It's the 18th of February and we had a peaceful night all alone here in the woods. We've decided we like this place so much we're going to stay two nights. This gives us the whole day to sort some things out and of course to relax after so much driving. The first job is to wash our hair. Get the flow going. Should be organic, really. So don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Place to have short hair in a van, doesn't it? Definitely. So easy. All right. So lock, lock that on there, and then the heat from the sun on the window will help to dry it out. Mm. They look nice, don't they? Mm. The solar panels are currently giving me two and a half amps of charge. The MV200 is very easy to reposition. One of these costs 50 cents in Spain and you would need um, four of these to fill up the container. So we prefer to use these because we know it's pure and we don't risk uh, putting infected water into our water tank. So it's pretty cheap. So how did you find your first uh, camper van sh shampoo then? Washing my hair? Yeah. Oh, it was very easy. I think it worked really well sitting on the step with the yeah. door open and just washing it into the basin. Using that pan was, uh, uh, saved a lot of water, I think, yeah. using the pan. And also kept the water hot, yeah. being in the saucepan. If it had just gone into a bowl, it would cool down a lot quicker. Yeah, it would. Thank you. 